So good morning, welcome along. Today we're going to be looking at this. This is the new colour, Lexmo Old Salt 125 with all the new badging on it. Absolutely fantastic looking bike. They've redesigned all the colours on these. So they now come in the grey, red, black and the yellow and blue. So blue tank with the yellow flashes on it and the blue one looks really nice. We're due to ride that in the next few days. Just a quick look around the bike and some spec on this. Just check out those lovely shocks that they've got to the rear of that. You've got the gas shocks to the rear. You've got that nice carbon panelling detail, so the old fake carbon on this. Very easy access to all the engine on this. This has got five speed box, one down, four up. And this has got these lovely gold calipers on it. So they've really gone to town on that. Nice high front carbon mud guide. And as you can tell, that light is really, really super bright. So just walk around this side of the bike. Indicators to the front of the tank in those flares. So it's got manual kick start on it as well. And a nice high exhaust can in black down the side with the gold accents on it as well. So we're going to get this one out on the road. Give it a quick ride test as we always do. On this one, rev counter is to the left with your fuel tank just in the right of that dial. And then you've got your miles per hour your gear indicator just to the top right, the time, and your mileage on the bottom. Very, very easy, just to adjust everything, the times and your mileage to kilometres on these two buttons here. On the switch gear, right-hand switch gear has the start button and the kill switch, and the left-hand switch gear, the horn, the indicator's main beam, and to the rear of this, you have hazard lights. And just looking down the front of that bike, you can see those lights, the indicator's just flashing away on those front flares either side of the tank. Now when I first saw these bikes, I wasn't a big lover of these tanks. I did say it was an ugly looking tank, but after riding these assaults and the Iskas, that tank is absolutely beautiful. It really does take the wind off of your knees and shield you. Mirrors on this, I've got about a third of my shoulder in the mirror. Now obviously on the drift cam, it's mounted on the side of the helmet, so you're going to get a different view from what I see, but I've got about a third of my shoulder in those mirrors but I've got an ample view of the road behind. Peg position is, I'd say, around mid-centre. Very upright riding position, but very, very comfortable on the legs, and it does tuck the knees into the bottom of that tank. So we're gonna get this one out on the road, get it through the box as quick as we can, and it does get up to its speed very, very quickly on this. The ratio on this gearbox is absolutely superb. So it does get up to speed very, very quickly and pull through the traffic effectively. Obviously for the purposes of ride tests as I do on every video, we're going to sit it around 40, 42 mile an hour on this one. And that's going to sit around 5,000 RPM. So very, very easy. Rather than look at the mileage, I can just tell by 5,000 RPM, or 6,000 RPM should I say, that I am doing 40 mile an hour. So 6,000 RPM, 40 mile an hour. And we're going to pull it in on that front brake, clutch in, and come down hard on that front brake. Very, very effective, and very easy to click back through the gearbox. And it's very responsive feel from that gearbox as well. So it's not as clunky as some bikes that you would ride. Very smooth to operate through the gearbox. And just pull it through the traffic. And if you're listening to that, you can hear how easy that just pulls through that gearbox. Absolutely perfect. Now this is the new colour Assault, so this is the grey, red and black, and obviously I do another colour which is the blue and yellow, which is just as equally good looking as this one. I do like the new design colours that they have put on these new Lex Motor Assaults, and these are in very, very high demand at the moment. You cannot get these for love or money. Now we've got quite a few of these in, most of them have sold, but as we would always say, if you're into a bike and you want a bike really badly, get a pre-order deposit on there. Maybe a little bit of a, a wait time to get yourself a bike, but at least you are guaranteed a bike when they do come in. If you hang around waiting thinking, oh the dealer's going to get them in soon, the dealers are going to get, I'll wait for them to come in and I'll go and buy one, you are not going to stand a chance because most of them are being pre-ordered and reserved straight from the factory so always get a pre-order deposit on these bar position is very very good 
very upright bar, slightly raised bars on these ones and with those high mirrors perfect view of the road behind but the actual hand position is very very nice, very comfortable on the arms and with these you've got the dual sport tyres on these as well so semi knobbly tyre so they are great for your urban traffic just riding around on the roads but they are very very good if you happen to live in the back roads or in a village or in the country those dual sport tyres are going to be very very effective on loose surfaces and if you've seen the previous ride videos that I've done of the Assault we actually took one of these green laning trying to find every bit of gravel and dirt that we could and it took it all in its stride so a very very nice bike to ride what we're going to do, we're going to crack some mileage up on this one now and we'll cut back in onto the video when we come back into the urban so we'll see you all in just a few so just coming back on the final bit of the urban mileage on this first ride test so we're 11 miles in looking to put about 20 on it but this is the first part of the ride test that we do do another one couple of days before the bike goes over to the customer just to double check everything is absolutely a-okay final bit of test mileage to do but Lex Motor Assault riding absolutely fine no issues whatsoever and up and down the dual carriageway a few times so this is the new one in grey red and black as we always say with any bike a picture sells a thousand bikes always double check that you can sit yourself on a bike before you decide to go and purchase because you may not be able to get your feet to the floor and we have had that with a few of our customers coming to look at bikes love that bike can't sit on the bike very unstable on it and they've actually gone for a lower seated bike so make sure you check out all the specs you can do that off the lexmoto page lexmoto.co.uk all the bikes are listed there and the technical specifications length of the bike, seat height, weight, fuel tank, everything, all the tech spec is in there check a bike out before you decide to go and purchase but if you decide this is the one for you then obviously go and uh, sit yourself on a bike, try it for size if it feels comfortable you know it's going to be good for you and most of these little Lexmodo 125s are absolutely bulletproof as long as you stick to your maintenance regime your servicing schedules and you run the bike in correctly most of the people that complain about the uh, Chinese bikes are those that have either ragged them straight from the start, not kept up with their weekly maintenance or servicing regimes. And that's when you're going to get issues, but that's when the Lexmoto warranty comes in. So, as always guys, oh, squirrel, don't see many squirrels around these days. As always, social media. Uh, easiest way to get to absolutely everything for Eclipse Motorcycles is off my website which is revbomb.co.uk first page down the bottom there's a link to the Eclipse Motorcycles Facebook there's also a link to their website with the phone number which is 01908 643603 hit option 2 and speak to the bike sales team if you happen to live near Milton Keynes or in the surrounding area and you want a bike we can deliver as well at cost and then of course all my social media on the last page that's the uh, Facebook, the Instagram, the YouTube and the Twitter if you do have any questions about bikes and um, we've had questions about tyres, servicing, what you should do to run it in always put a question down below, I'll always try and answer it and we do like your comments as well so whether it's negative, positive I'd like to know what you think of the new colours on the Lexmodo Assault I have been told there are two new bikes coming very, very soon, beginning of the year. And uh, I already know what they are, but keep an eye on the page, watch out for those. I'm not going to tell you what they are. And then, until the next time, guys, I'll be signing out. If you're out this weekend, we're going to try and get up to the Super Sausage, come up and meet me on the ZX-7. And then, until then, whatever you're doing be well if you're riding in this weather ride safe guys it is horrible out there it's freezing cold horrible icy roads it's chucking it down the rain the other day so if you're riding ride very safely take it easy and until the next time 
from RB and the crew, take care and it's a big goodbye from me.